Hello and welcome to Amp Studio's new distortion effect. In this video, we will look at the different parts and controls you can use to harness the power of this little beast. Boost and pre-gain knobs are used to increase the level of the input signal. When boost is active, it adds up with the pre-gain value. Depending on these two settings, a corresponding gain compensation is applied to reduce or increase the level of the distorted signal. Simply put, you can boost the signal pretty hard. Use the big mode knob in the middle to select one of 11 different distortion modes, each with their own characteristics. Intensity, in combination with boost and pre-gain, determines how much distortion is applied to the input signal. Feedback determines the polarity and magnitude of feedback within the distortion function. Tone affects the frequency of the filtered input signal before distortion is applied. Blend determines the relative magnitude of the filtered and distorted signals, which together comprise the blended signal. The post gain knob changes the level of blended signal. The mix knob determines the relative magnitude of the blended and clean signals, which together make up the output signal. <laughs> 